Hello, hello, this is Mystic Moho, and I come to you today with the Divine Feminine Free. So Divine Feminine is in the energy where she's saying, hmm, wonder why they hate me. Is it because they ain't me? Is that why you're hating? I thought that you would be over that by now, says Divine Feminine. But since you want to be all and up and through and round and round and round, all up in my energies and things, we want to know what's going on with you haters. Since you're wondering why they hate me, says Divine Feminine, it's because they ain't me. So because you ain't me, we want to know what energy that you are in, darling. Why do the hate exist? So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energies. And yes, I am feeling good today, darling. Mystic Mohawk is in another energy. You know why? Because let me tell you this situation. We goes to bury the kids' fathers and everything and things and things and things. Now mind you this. I talked to my kids' father before he passed away. He was with my son. They was with a bas at a basketball game together. I told him to drop him off over my mother's house. He went to a McDonald's close to my mom's house. And the incident ain't happened. So... You know, all these things have been happening and corresponded and all these things. Mind you this, this was the person that I was married to that the first two father is about. Okay, so I find out that, you know, I goes on the page. Mind you this, the one that he's with now, he has a set of twin boys by her. She blocked me off the page. I don't know what the situation is because I've never, like, you know, beef or had an issue with her. I thought it was cool. So... You know, the third baby mama that I'm cool with, I'm cool with all the baby mamas, except for the last two, the twins mama. And I don't even know, I'm cool with her, but she's not cool with me. So, she, you know, she's acting funny, you know, at the funeral, no one can touch the kids or whatever, you know. Um, his brother went to go pick up one of the twins, don't touch my child, it was one of them energies that she was in. So all the kids took the pictures together. I'm looking around. I'm like, can the kids, all the kids take the pictures together? She like, no. No. Okay. Fine. Okay, so all of the people are putting things on his page. I find out that I'm blocked. So, you know, the only person that could block me is her because, again, them two were together. So she know all the situation. So I asked her, I said, son, son, can I pull you to the side for a minute? So I pulled her to the side at the function. I said, is there any reason why, you know what I'm saying, you know, when I go to put something up on his page, I'm blocked from all of his social media. Like, what is that about? So she goes and she tells me, she said, oh, me and him had a conversation and he told people that, his brother asked him in front of me if it was any female that you would choose to, that you would have to be with who would it be and he said you and I was offended by that because I feel like me and him together blah 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 I said you was offended by his comment but I'm offended by the fact that you blocked me and I wasn't around to know about this comment I wasn't around to know you know what he said but as far as I'm concerned he let all the baby mamas know if it was a baby mama that he would get back with he would get back with Treshawn Treshawn is the one with the house Treshawn is the one that's educated. Treshawn is the one that gave her shit together and she didn't act like a bitch. I fucked up with her. I mean, he told you this. He said he told you this in front of me. I apologize that you took offense to with him by what he said, but you should have addressed that to him. I found like that that was wrong that you did that to me. I wasn't even in when the conversation was done. And I said, and it's real messed up that, you know, his brother come to me and say, yeah, she blocked you because of that conversation that they had. 
So she said, yeah, that's why I blocked you. I said, you know what? It's okay. You can block me. I said, but, you know, we still have to be cordial with each other because we do have kids by him. And I would like my kids to know you just as well as I would like to know you and all of those things that come along with being a family. We, our kids, are brothers and sisters. And I think that that should be gone because he is gone. It's time to focus on the kids and living out his legacy. Shorty, that one right there, I was like, oh my God, this just don't make no kind of sense. And let me let me clearly say that this is a middle-aged woman that he dealing with. She's older than me. I'm acting this way. But I'm going to say, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I just, hey, I'm sorry I had to take that off of there to get that off your chest. And speaking of getting that off my chest, I would like to thank all of you all that sent your will wishes, that sent your condolence to me and my family. We are very thankful for that. We are thankful for all of the ear hugs that you hear. Thank you. I really love it. All the ear hugs, all the love, all the light that you sent. Thank you in my, in my time of bereavement, YouTube. I really would like to thank Thank you all for that but i would like to say holy spirit holy angels we come to you today we would like to know why divine feminine is in the energy and she's saying she wondering why they hate me is it because they hate me this is the energy that she's in so we want to know why they hate you divine feminine why they in that energy darling we want to know okay baby they in the energy they in a moon like energy baby because they feel like all of the lies, all of deception, all of the secrets, all of the deceit has been illuminated. They feel like you know everything about them. They feel like you know about the lies. You know about the cheating. You know about the third parties and everything like that. And they also in this middle opportunity where they feel like you are a missed opportunity. So what are the other energies that, that these people are in that has divine feminine saying, wondering why they hate me? Is it because they ain't me? Yes. Divine Feminine is in an energy where she's in a chariot energy. And your haters know that you are in a chariot energy. You are overcoming adversity. You are overcoming conflict. You are having victory in your life because you got... Oh, you got yourself together and you got in your car and you rolled out and you in your chariot. You are emotionally balanced now. You are in charge of your direction and that direction is whatever the divine seeks for you. However, you just in your car and you letting the divine steer your way, steer your life, steer your chariot on to victory. What is these other energies that divine feminine is in? Divine Feminine, your haters know that you are in an emperor inference energy. They know you are authority figure. They know you are strong. They know you are stable. They know you are a leader. They know that you know how to communicate and you have self-control of yourself. You have self-discipline. You are a logical, kinesthetical, practical thinker. You are one that is intelligent and you put yourself in other shoes to solve situations. People look up to you. People like you a lot, you emperor that's in this empress energy. Okay, so we have divine feminine in the moon, chariot, and empress energy. This is why these people and divine feminine is saying, hmm. Wondering why they hate me. Is it because they ain't me? Yeah. They hate that you rolled off on your chariot. They hate that you are in Empress energy and you are not thinking about another. They hate the fact that you are in a moon energy and you have illuminated all of the lies, the trickery, and the deceitful things that they try to manifest upon you. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, please tell us. We would like to know why Divine Femme is saying, wondering why they hate me. Is it because they ain't me? Says Divine Feminine. And today, since Divine Feminine wanna be in her little uh her her uh 
her empress mode and she want to be in a wild mode and she while while she's adjusting her crown we are going to use today my mystic moho adjusting her crown cost because we want to know why divine feminine is saying wonder why they hate me is it because they ain't me yes we would like to know why is divine feminine in that energy holy spirit why is divine feminine in a spirit in a spirit where she's saying uh wondering why they hate me is it because they ain't me yes why are you in that energy divine feminine oh you are in that energy because others know they ain't you because you ain't broke. You took care of your finances. You took care of you. You wasn't out there fake flexing, spending money that you do not have. The first card that comes out is pay before you lay. She said, yeah, she know why y'all hating on me, baby. Because Divine Masculine, you got to go over there and pay for sex, darling. And karmic, you got to lay on your back to get yours. That's why you in the energy. Why? You ain't me, but you hate me. Yeah, you also in the energy because you can't be like me. This is why you holding energies, darling. You are holding grudges, baby. Because I done moved on, Divine Masculine, and you see me as a missed opportunity, baby. And karmic, you over there seeing me making my money the right way, getting it the right way. This is why you holding grudges, because the only way you can get yours is to lay on your back and be a mattress back, darling. Yes, and speaking of mattress back, it ain't working for you, says Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Sex isn't wrong, but you gotta be right. And if you have sex, you better wrap it up tight. Listen to me, cause Mohawk ain't joking. Don't wrap it up and your ass will be smoking. This last card, this next card that comes out is taking medications for gondorrhea, syphilis, STDs, STIs. Yes. This is why these people in the energy, why they hate you, because they ain't you. They hate the fact that you don't have to um, stay on your back and be a mattress, my Isha, to get yours. You have a brain in your head and you use it wisely to get up every day and go to work and be a leader and go to a job. And do not use your lower extremities to get what you want. And she's saying, yeah, y'all people over there. That includes the comic, divine, masculine, and these fake friends. This is why y'all hate me. Because you see that I figured out that y'all was fake. Talking about me behind my back but smiling me in my face. Yes, I found out about you too. You fake friends, says divine feminine. Yes, I thought that y'all was friends that was for me. And was out there to help me to get it together when I was going through this traumatic incident that I went through with Divine Masculine. My cloudy was ju my judgment was clouded because I was in love. And you all used that opportunity to talk about me. You used that opportunity to put me down behind my back. Fake friend says Divine Feminine. She saying, yeah, her judgment ain't cloudy no more. When she found out that y'all was talking about her. Mm, she stupid. She let the masculine do her that way. I ain't got time for that. Mm -hmm. All y'all friends. But in my face, oh girl, you know you better than that. But behind my back, she a stupid bitch. She went for him. Oh, okay. And you. This is why you hate me because you ain't me, your creative monster. You creative monster. Yeah, y'all fake friends that was around me. I'm talking to y'all. Every time we go out, we go for drinks. Y'all mysteriously don't have your money. Done left your debit card. Every time we go out, you get an attitude with me. Oh, girl, what you win? And you, they give you that. Hmm. Every time we go out, you always got to steal the show. I got to steal the show. I ain't do nothing. My whole outfit cheap. $7 shirt from Rainbow. $6 pants from H&M. 
thrift store shoes. Yeah, I still have the goddamn money, the uh, the uh, the mark on the bottom of my shoe. So I'm trying to figure out how am I trying to one uh, oh up one. Yes, this is what what my girlfriends always said to me. I'm trying to up one. How am I trying to up one when I got on a seven dollar shirt from Rainbow? Six dollar pants from H&M and shoes from the thrift store. How I'm trying to up one. My whole outfit ain't even 30 bucks. How I'm trying to up one. And I let it be known. Rainbow, seven dollar H&M pants, thrift store shoes. How I'm trying to up one. And you doing it, doing the most. With your Gucci and your this and your that and your this, you got on a whole $2,000 outfit, but you still not shining better than me. And I ain't even trying. I'm just, oh, and I forgot about my hat that I stole from out my mother's closet. But I'm trying to up one on you. Anyway, we ain't getting into that. But you creative mantra, you fake friend. You got mad because every time we go out, you fake friend. You always talking about all this money that you make, but you mysteriously leave your car. And little old me, oh, I got you. Oh, okay. No, we don't got nobody no more. Because Mystic have learned. Excuse me. Yes, I go to clubs now where I can pre-order my drinks. Pre-order my Uber, all of those things, so we don't have those problems. That's what I go out now, because I have those type of friends that will get to drinking and get to say, ooh, I forgot my, my, oh, no, we won't do that no more. But anyway, we have the creative mantra that will be for the friend that wanted to steal your creativity and was jealous of you every time that they go, that you all go out, she has something to say about you uh sneakily you know what i'm saying that fake friend her so when you pulled your energy back she got mad because she was no longer able to steal your energy hmm. and, and she seen the fake friends they seen before you seen divine feminine that you a queen rising Oh, the karmic scene before you seen that you was a queen rising. That's why she decided to do the magic on you to try to stop your style, honey. This next card that comes out is Divine Feminine is a queen rising. This is why these haters is over here wondering why they hate me. Because they ain't me. And what they ain't is a queen rising. One that is stepping into her power. One that is praised often by others. One that is going places. One that is currently in the spotlight. One that currently people like. One that is currently stepping into her power is a what? Divine Feminine, and she's a Divine Feminine that's a Queen Rising. Yes, Divine Feminine, you wonder why, why these people hate you because they ain't you? They hate you because they ain't stepping in their power. They ain't hate, they hate you because they ain't a Queen Rising. And Divine Masculine is hating on you, darling, dear. Because they know they cannot get a second chance with you. This next card is last chance. They lost a chance with you. And they know that they cannot get it back. This is why Divine Masculine is in his feelings, baby. Because he knows that you're not coming back to his bullcrap. And Divine Masculine says, baby, I hate nothing about you, Divine Masculine. Um, you were a good person. We were good when we were together. However... I hate nothing about you. However, I hate those actions when you cheated on me. I hate those actions when you lied to me. I hate those actions when you put me in a third party. I hate those actions when you thought that you was going to leave me and I was going to stay down. But I got up. But I hate nothing about you, baby. I forgive you. Baby, you know why I forgive you and I ain't mad at you? Because I know you over there with a bipolar bitch. I ain't mad at you because you thought you was getting away with murder. You thought you was getting over on me. 
You thought you had a sucker, which was me, and you was licking me like a lollipop. But baby, I woke up, darling, then, and you will never, ever get the chance to do that to me again. And I'm saying, stop! Hold up! Divine masculine need to give it up. His dick deals ain't working, they all weak as fuck. He need to stop and need to give it up. Hey, give it up. Pat, pat, give it up. Hold up. You want to put me in entanglements. I said I'm done, I'm done, I'm sick of that shit. I said I'm done, I'm done, I'm sick of that shit. Can't fuck with it. I know that's right. Here come me and little me pet a poop. Pedapoo, that old man Pedapoo, that old man Pedapoo, and Miss Pedapoo, she come over here to say yes, divine feminine. You going on with your bad self. I'm clarifying that. Divine feminine is saying, stop, baby. You thought that your bullshit was going to always come back. I was going to always be your fall guy, baby. The one that you can fall back and come back to when shit ain't right with your karma, bitch. Stop it. Stop it now. Divine masculine. Cause your face is cracked. And on the ground, says divine feminine. I, de I dealt with it, yes. Mm-hmm. I forgave you for a lot of things. But baby, since I have found me and I know my worth, and I know me. Give me six feet, dog. Hmm. And the next call that comes out for Divine Feminine is abundance, baby girl. It's coming your way. Sharing the angel of abundance is with you, Divine Feminine. May this bring abundance and prosperity. And the cards say amen. Thank you, Divine. Let's say this again for Divine Feminine and Divine Holy Name. We say abundance, Divine Feminine. Thank you, Divine. We say abundance, Divine. Thank you, Divine. Sharing the angel of abundance is with who? You, Divine Feminine. May this bring abundance and prosperity. And the church say amen. Amen to Divine Feminine, yes. We thank you for Divine, for your abundant gifts and blessings. Thank you. We've been in that mud a long time, Divine. Thank you. We are a queen rising. Thank you. We sit on our throne. Thank you, Divine. It's nice to know while we sitting on our throne, we will be blessed. With manifestations of abundance. Thank you, Divine. I say thank you, says Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine says yes. I am in the energy where I have changed. Mm -hmm. And this change with me, says Divine. Thank you. Thank you, Divine, for your spiritual growth. I have grown from this situation, says Divine Feminine. And I thank you for my spiritual gifts, Divine. Thank you for leading me away from trauma, away from pain and healing me. And now Divine saying, you are beautiful, baby. You're going to always have me on your side, leading and guiding you. And I'm going to protect you because you are a beautiful soul, says our divine. This next call comes out is beautiful. And our divine feminine is saying, yes, I'm over here living my single life. And I am over here living my happy life, baby. I did. I allowed you to take advantage of me. I allowed you to do the things that you did to me because I loved you. I see all of those red flags with you, but divine masculine. But I said, you know what? I love this man or I love this woman so much. Maybe they can change. This person ain't changed. But I, I, 
I can't admit, I says divine feminine, I can't admit that I created this problem because this person did to me what they did to me because I allowed them to do it. This next per this next call that comes out, I did to you what you allow me to do and that was to take advantage of you divine feminine said i know i let you take advantage baby boy but not no more not no bull and now you sitting over there having regrets because i won't deal with you you sitting over there having regrets because i found out that you took advantage you took advantage of me you mad because I won't take you back because you treated me like shit. And you picked a karmic over a divine being. You now having regrets, regret, says divine feminine. Baby, I'm over here in my healing energy. I forgive you, divine masculine. My blessings are coming. My Bam! My blessings are coming. My abundance is coming. I forgive you. Now it's all about me. It's all about my healing. It's all about my happiness. And it starts with divine feminine. And it starts with my healing. Baby boy, you are not sorry you're not sorry. You're only sorry you got caught. And you, you goddamn comic, you still in my business? You still being inconspicuous? I already understand, baby girl. You wants to be like me. This next card is hater. Hater. Watching in the shadows. Yes, you're still hating. I understand you want to be like me. And because you, like, you want to be like me, I'm going to give you what I want. Give you what you want. And that's to see me shine. That's to see me win. That's to see me be better than you. Hater. I know you a copycat. This next call is the hater wanna be me copycat bitch. I know you wanna copycat me. And I know you mad that your man wants to reconcile with me. I know you mad. Cause he mad, you mad cause he cho he picked the wrong bitch. And he wanna be with the better bitch. This is why you obsessed with me. This is why you want to be me. But baby, I would never go back to Divine Masculine. He showed me fake love. You know that fake love that he showed me when he was dealing with you? When he was creeping with you? When he put me in the third party? Now baby, your man is haunted because he fucked up with me. This next call is haunted. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, and side effects, darling. Because I don't want to be put in that energy where he treated with a whole rather like you. I don't want to be put in that energy where he cheated with a mattress my Isha like you. I don't want to be put in the energy where I'm being going to the doctor because he's with a, mic a microwave my Isha because your ass burning. <laughs> Never. This is why you envy me. This is why you want to be me. Because you see me over there saving my money. I don't have to fake flex. I know I got money in the bank. Me and Ben Franco, we stay at the banker. Spending cash like money. Wherever I go. I know that's right. And the budgets come out again. So Divine Feminist say, yeah. I save my money, baby. I got that in the bank. I ain't got to be like you, baby. I ain't got to fake flex. I got money in the bank with my $7 shirt on and my $7 pants on and my thrift store shoes. But I got money in the bank. But you and I don't know that my shit, you know, because I told you that it came to the bank. I can look good from things that come from others. I stay in the thrift store. I stay in the consignment shop. The mustard seed is my friend. When they come in there, they be like, hey, mister, what can I help you with today? What you looking for? I be like, I'm just looking right now. They come out there with all kinds of things. Spend money at the, at the mustard seed for women, bad women. Just go in there just to spend money because I know every time that I buy anything in this store, it's going towards a bad woman and it's going towards a shelter to help them out. Hmm. But you, you're a fraud. All you care about is yourself. 
You don't care about nobody but yourself because you a fraud. You go out there and you buy designer, fake designer clothes, fake flats, and they're going to take them back to the store to say, I had on a Gucci shirt. Mm-hmm. That's what them fake people do. Yeah. I told you. I told Divine. Fuck you, Divine Masculine. I don't want that shit you giving me. You go ahead with your young face out how. Young face out how. You know that one that got long mileage. Mm-hmm. That mattress Maddie. Mm-hmm. That one over there, Community Katrina. With that community genitalia. Now you in the energy that you fed up with her. Because she don't want no commitment with you. Mm. Tables have turned now. So now Divine Masculine is in the energy where he fed up. Because the comic ain't giving him no commitment. She want to be with Lord Jojo and them. And Faith Flex. Mm-hmm. And all those things that she do. He mad at you because you showing a uh, strength divine feminine because you don't want to be back with him. And you ain't took him back yet. Oh, yeah, girl. Because you showing strength divine masculine over there talking shit about you. Throwing salt on your name. Getting mad, baby girl. Because he see you over there. You and Benjamin Franco stay at the bank. Oh, yes, girl. He over there pocket watching your money, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one over there is all up and through your phones, darling, dear. Mm. Talking shit about your money. Talking shit about your strength. Mm-hmm. All that stays in your mouth, honey. But on the other hand, it calm it community. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> But over there in the upper, in the comic community, he got a money grabbing bitch that's now over there betraying him with other males, cheating on him with other males, using her lower extremities to get money. Mm-hmm. And baby, he's still tripping on you. And darling, why he still over there tripping on you? The mind feminine is smoking and she's still unbothered. And that is why they wondering why they hate me, says the mind feminine. It's because they ain't me. But because they ain't me, darling, I'm still going to be unbothered by divine masculine. Them fake friends that I had. And this weak, low-budget comic that want to be like me. Mm. Now, she ain't wondering no more. She know. She know why they hating on her. Because they ain't her. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.